Well, welcome to episode 40 of Light Source, the official podcast of StudioLighting.net, the website introducing photographers to portrait and studio lighting techniques and equipment. I'm Bill Crawford, publisher. And I met a hidden exclusive photographer and image inspector with iStockphoto.com. Now, on today's show, uh, if you're listening to this on your iPod, uh, you'll probably want to navigate over to the video section because we have a little treat for you. This is our first video episode. So we're not saying that it's not because um, the photographers aren't returning our phone calls. Some of them are, um, but Bill and I wanted to come down and play in the studio here. Studio E. Yeah, and it also gives us an opportunity to show you some of the products we've been taking a look at and we'll make this kind of a product review. In addition to a product review, we'll show you how to set up the well, we didn't even mention what we're talking about. We're talking about the Photoflex Octodome 3. It's a large reflector, probably about four or five feet in diameter. And uh, we're going to show you how to build this thing. And um, I've been working out, so we'll be in good shape there. If you're not familiar with uh, setting up a softbox, when they're brand new, some of them can be very difficult to assemble, and you kind of got to strong arm them to get into the position they're supposed to be. Um, this one we've used a little bit, so it, it kind of has a little bit of a natural curve to it. With, when building the Photoflex Octodome 3, the principles of this can be applied to any softbox. So it should be useful if, for those that maybe aren't looking at this softbox in particular, but you'll learn some techniques and trips. Trips? Yeah. You'll learn some techniques and tricks on how to uh, kind of wedge a softbox together so that way it's a, it might be a little bit easier on you after you've seen it on the video. Yeah, and it'll also give you an opportunity to see the wonderful light that comes from some of these larger modifiers. Yeah, and actually with that, we'll show you some examples of some of the shots that were that have been taken with us by Bill, myself, and some other photographers that we've uh, had the opportunity to take with us to uh, some group shoots and things like that. And if we have time at the end, we will do uh, we'll show a setup with the with it in action. Now, one of us will be sitting in for the uh, the model that the shot yeah. was taken in, so it probably won't look. <laughs> I don't imagine that we'll look as good as they did, but um, we'll kind of show you how they position the light and kind of some effects that they got out of a, a single light setup. So we'll get to that right after this. There you go. I have a couple oh. sticks here in my hand, and these are the rods that are actually the spine that holds the softbox together. Now, you can see this one here is a standard softbox. It kind of has a little graphite rod to it. And you can see it has a nice bit of little flex to it. Now the one that comes with the Photoflex Octodome, you can see, well maybe you can't see, it's actually an aluminum rod and you can see it, it's, it has a bit more strength to it. So that means it's gonna be a little bit more difficult to build. The softbox is actually made of this flimsy little, it's not even really little, it's this material. And it has a nice little vinyl, and it has a nice white inside to it, and this actually reflects the light onto the subject. Now to build the softbox, we take these rods that we have, and our material, and they have this little channel inside of them. So we're going to feed this rod through the channel, and that's actually going to be the spine. Okay, so now that counts for all eight of our spines that we have. This is a quick ring. This actually, this part mounts onto your camera and you can see the holes around the edge here. That's where the rods go into and actually they spring out of this from all directions. So we're going to take this quick ring, we're going to take this quick ring and we want to mount it so that since this side is going to be facing our camera, we want the light modifier to be pointing away. So we're going to put one end into the quick ring and we're going to put this on the opposite side of our ring. So we put the rods in, we start building on a 180 direction from each other. So that way, as you're building the box, it distributes the, the tension of the, of the modifier around the box. So that way it's a little bit easier to put together. So we'll start there. All right, now the last one is always the toughest to put in because it's going to be the one that, that pulls all of the tension and helps it create its shape. So the best advice that I have for actually getting this one in, if, if any of these are getting to be difficult while you're building a softbox, you want to grab a hold of it very firmly, like a nice strong handshake. Grab a hold of it and you want to bend at the wrist here so you get some flex up in the softbox itself. 
So you can position it in the hole, crank it up, and you have your modifier. Now you can see this one is quite a large modifier, and a large modifier like this allows you to get some really nice soft lighting. Okay, so Ed's got our box all assembled here, and as you can see, we've got the uh, rigidity in place due to the, all the rods and everything being attached to the quick release. So now what we're going to do is attach that to our light. And here we have a star flash made also by Photoflex. So the mount that is on the quick ring will match the mount that's on the star flash. Now there are a number of different types of mounts. This particular one has knobs which fit in the slots here on the body of the light itself. Line it up with the slots until we hear it click. As you can see, Ed mentioned the spin, and now we have the box able to spin. This is an octa box, so it won't make much difference, but with a rectangle light box, you can actually use that to position the light and change the effect. With our box now attached to our light, we can go ahead and do a couple of more steps to close off this section so that no light is spilling from our light. We have here the back piece of the actual softbox, just like that. photocastnetwork.com your photography resource in the potosphere photocastnetwork.com